In this video, we're going to be discussing division. We're going to be looking at a strategy that looks somewhat like the traditional method, but it isn't exactly like the traditional method. So we're going to start with the problem 126 divided by 5. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work over in this area, and then I'm going to be building the problem this way. So I'm going to start with what I know is an easy multiplication problem. I know that 5 times 10 equals 50. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and take this 50 and subtract it from the 126. And I get 76. And I did that. That happened 10 times. So I'm going to put 10 in parentheses right here. Well, I know that I can still keep dividing. So I know that I can do another 10 times because we just said that 5 times 10 was 50. So I'm going to put this 50 here. I'm going to subtract, and I get 26, and that was another 10 times. And then I'm going to think about what I know about 5 that's close to 26. Well, I know that 5 times 5 is 25, so I'm going to subtract that out. And I have 1 left over, and I did that 5 times, so I'll put that in parentheses. This number is now smaller than the 5. We are going to report our remainders differently than you're used to. Usually you put that R in the 1. We're no longer going to do that. We're going to start reporting our remainders as nothing but fractions. This one would be 1 fifth, and I'm going to show you why. We had the number 126, and we divided it into 25 groups. There were 5 in each group because that's what we divided them into. And then we had that one left over. The one left over, or whatever number is left over, is always going to be my numerator. And then what I divided them into groups of will be my denominator. And we call this number the divisor. So the divisor always is the denominator, and my remainder, or my leftovers, is my numerator. So we're going to practice that many times. All right, so let's try now a three-digit dividend and a two-digit divisor. So I'm going to go over here first, and I'm going to think about what I know about 54. I'm always going to use the times 10 because that's one of the easiest multiplication facts. And I know that 54 times 10 is 540. Well, look at that. It's way bigger than my dividend, so I can't use 10. So let's take half of that now, which is 270. Still too big, so I'm going to try 54 times 4, which is 216. So that's going to work. So I'm going to try that one. So I'm going to subtract that product out. Now when I get a zero right here, I really don't have to write that down. That's just for you to see that there was nothing in that place. So I did that four times, and I look at this number. And so I got 34 left over here, which I cannot put 34 into 54 equal groups when I'm dealing with whole numbers. So that is my remainder. So I only was able to use 4 here. So 54 goes into 250 four whole times with 34 left over. And we said the leftovers were on the top and what we divided by on the bottom. So right now, it's 4 and 34 54 which eventually we'll be able to reduce this fraction down into simplest form, but not yet. So we're just going to get into the hang of this first. So remember, leftovers on top, what I divided by, which is my divisor on bottom. All right, let's try a four-digit dividend divided by a two-digit divisor. When I start with my 32 times 10, I see that it's only going to be 320. So that's going to take a while to get 320 subtracted out. So I'm going to try it 32 times 20, and I end up with 640, which will get me a lot, will get me to the end a lot faster. So I'm going to do times 20 this time, which is 640. I can see that I'll be able to do it again. And 
and I'm just subtracting these out. I'm not going to be able to do it another 20 times because I'm at 500 and I'd have to have at least 640, so I'm going to do it times 10 this time. So I'm at 180 now, I can't do times 10, so let me try times 5, which is half of the 10, which is 160, which will work. And I end up with 20 left over, which I can't put 32 in there another time when I'm dealing with whole numbers. So I'm going to add up all of the times that I did. So I've got 20 plus 20 plus 10 is already 50. Then I've got that other 5, which is 55. So this goes in 55 whole times with 20 leftovers. So this is my leftovers. It goes in the numerator. And what I divided by goes in the denominator. So 55 and 20 30 seconds is my quotient. Now we're going to have you try some on the student side. You've got three problems here. You've got a three-digit dividend by one-digit divisor, three-digit dividend by two-digit divisor, and a four-digit dividend by a two-digit divisor. So you're going to try these on your student side, and we will discuss in class.